Before installing your rotor, make sure you watch our video on how to fully clad a new rotor. For this demonstration, we will be installing a cladded rotor on a naked base. This is likely to be how a new ore crusher VSI will be delivered. A few rotor parts will be added during this installation process. The feed hopper and crushing chamber will be added after the rotor has been installed. However, replacing a rotor on a VSI that is already in use follows the same steps covered in this video. Except you can do this by only removing the feed hopper and lid. Let us begin by cleaning the taper lock bush and rotor boss bore. Check if there is any damage to the seating surfaces and use a small file to remove any raised blemishes. Clean the surfaces again and coat these surfaces with a thin film of grease or copper slip compound before assembly. Using the flat head screwdriver, insert it into the slot provided to expand the taper lock bush. Now, fit the taper lock bush onto the bearing cartridge shaft. Make sure the key size and key way on the shaft and taper lock bush align. All ore crusher rotors are supplied with a lifting plate, but it is not strictly necessary to use this to lift the rotor. Carefully lower the cladded rotor onto the taper lock bush and rotate the rotor to align with the holes. Insert the center distribution ring into the center of the rotor. Now place the 12 hole plate and evenly fasten the four inner bolts through the plate into the taper lock bush. Tighten to 250 newton meters. Insert the eight outer bolts through the 12 hole plate into the rotor boss and fasten to 250 newton meters. Now drop in the conical and fasten using the M24 by 70 distributor bolt. It is a good idea to pack a grease rag around the outside of the bolt this prevents debris from collecting around the bolt, which would make it difficult to remove. Next, place and align the feed eye ring on the top of the rotor and fasten. Your rotor is now installed. Note that to remove the rotor from an ore crusher VSI, the exact same process can be done in reverse. If you have purchased a new ore crusher VSI, and depending on your requirements, the VSI could come in several dismantled parts if so, once your rotor has been installed on the bearing cartridge and base, it is now time to fit the crushing chamber first, then the feed hopper and lid. This is easily done by aligning all holes and fastening all bolts.